and welcome in Leo. I'm Marie. This is Indigo Earth Tarot. I'm here to do a general message for you, our fixed fire signs Leos. So thanks for coming into the channel. It's really good to have you here. I also want to welcome in your cross watchers. Cross watchers, you are here to find out what's going on with your Leo. Some of this message could be for you. Remember, energies do go both ways. So feel free to swap around the characters as it relates to your personal situation. And the message is coming through for you, Leo, that should reflect some aspect of your current situation. It does not have to reflect the whole thing. <clears throat> or it could just confirm an inner knowing. As always, take what fits. If it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. For those of you who are new, welcome. It's good to have you here. If you like the content being shared, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow so other Leo Leos can get the messages that might be needed for them. And to my ongoing supporters, thank you so much for your support in helping the channel grow. It is much appreciated. All right, let's get started. This is for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, Leo Rising. Leo Sun, Leo Moon, Leo Rising. Messages for those watching, please. All right, Leo, overall energy for the reading, we have the Hierophant. This could have something to do with commitment, marriage, or this could have something to do with tradition, culture, or a job. So we'll see where that goes. Let's find out what's happening with you right now. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Five of Pentacles. And we have the Two of Wands. I think you have a different vision here. I think you have a different path that you want to go on. You may have people around you who are kind of working with you or wanting to build with you. This could be family. This could be friends. You know, I, I think there are people around you that are kind of like maybe wanting you to go in a certain way um, or uh, you know, in a certain direction, and I don't know, you might have to, it looks like you might be leaving some things behind here or downsizing a little bit. I'm going to get some clarity on that, whatever this Five of Pentacles is, but it, it to me, what this is saying is, you're. You, it looks like there's a path that you want to take. You're not quite going in that direction yet, maybe you're being mentored, um, but there's going to be some downsizing going on here. So let's see why is this happening. How did you get here? What's going on? Why is this happening? We have Justice. We have the King of Swords. And we have the Seven of Swords. You could be looking at people's motives here. Um, you might be seeing some things very, very clearly. This could be people that you're working with in your job. This could be superficiality. It could be, you know, just your circle of friends or people around you or people that you contend with on a day-to-day -day basis. But there's something here that you see very, very clearly. Some kind of truth has come to kind of your awareness or in your energy field. I think you're starting to look at people's true motives. Could be in a job, could be tr in tradition, could be in culture. So let's see where this is heading. Where is this taking you? We have the Five of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. And we have the Moon. Well, I don't think this is an easy decision for you to make, Leo. Um, you know, I think there's going to be some regrets here moving forward. But I also think you want to move forward. You're not quite sure where you're going. The plan isn't set out in stone for you. It's, you know, there's no kind of like ladder you need to climb. You know, it's kind of, a, it's kind of it, it hasn't revealed itself to you yet. But you're definitely wanting to go in a different direction here. Away 
from whatever this commitment is or away from whatever this, um, you know, systems. Could be a job. So let's get clarity. Let's find out what's going on here. This is interesting. I want to know what the Five of Pentacles is. What is this downsizing? Maybe you feel like you're kind of left out here. Maybe there's a group of people or a group that or connections that are working together, you feel kind of left out, feel like you have to go in a different direction. You're not quite sure what that looks like or where you're supposed to go. So what is the Five of Pentacles? But I think you're starting to see people's true motives here. Something's becoming very, very clear to you. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Chariot. And we have the Five of Swords. There's something here that you put a lot of time and effort into. Um, could be situational, could be relational, could be both. And I, I think it's kind of like driving you in a certain direction. The lack of whatever you need coming through from either working together with other people or trying to build something or trying to move something forward um, you know, it, it doesn't, it just seems to be full of, like you're swimming upstream. You're constantly swimming upstream, trying to get things done or get the job done or get attention or get whatever, whatever it is that you need that you feel you're lacking. I mean, you've had some patience here, you know, and I think putting your time and your effort into this, you hope that things would move forward in a certain direction. And it's not. It just kind of, kind of seems like your wheels are spinning. Round and around and around and around. And it looks like you're, you know, you know you need to go in another direction. You just haven't taken the steps yet. Maybe you were waiting for things to change. Maybe you were waiting for things to move forward. Maybe you were waiting for something to happen here. And, you know, you got two fives here. It just seems to be like you're constantly hitting a brick wall. So let's see what justice is. Clarified justice for our Leos. It's like the structure of whatever this is is already set in place. Yeah, we got the sun coming in. That's Leo energy coming in. Some of you might be dealing with the Leos. Some of you might be dealing with the Cancer or Pisces. Others of you may be dealing with a Taurus or a Cancer. But some kind of realization, some kind of truth here is coming through. We have the King of Cups and we have the Four of Pentacles. I think you've had a lot of devotion here, you know. There could have been a lot of devotion here or some sort of loyalty here. Um, you're seeing where people's loyalties are, is what you're seeing. And I, I think you've kind of held on here for quite some time. There could be love here. This could be a relationship. There could be love here or a commitment or a marriage. But I think you're starting to see someone's true motives. So let's see what the King of Swords is. What's being seen here? We have the Three of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. And we have the Queen of Swords. Well, you got the king and the queen of swords here. So whatever whatever this is that you're seeing clearly or you're making a judgment call on, it, it's not something that you're not going to be, be able to unsee. You know, you might have somebody wanting to come back in. There may have been, you know, outside influences that were affecting this or, you know, somebody wants to reunite, come back together. Maybe they're remembering all the happy times and the fun that you had and, 
Um, you know, they're starting to realize that, you know, there were things going on that brought this person memories, a lot of memories, a lot of good memories. I, I don't know that they're going to be met with warmth. <laughs> You've got the Queen of Swords here, right? This is your bullshit detector coming through. I think you're going to be looking at whatever this person's motives are. Maybe a period of time has passed, you know, in this situation where if this person has been gone and now they're coming back in after a period of time, um, maybe you were hoping they would come back because you want to meet them. You know, maybe you want some retribution here or some, something to do with, you know, Maybe this is a pattern this person always comes back after a period of time of being gone. So let's see what the Seven of Swords is. Six of Cups again. There might need to be a maturation process here. Somebody might, you know, some of you might have children involved, but, you know, you might be dealing with somebody who's very immature that really wants to come back in, and they kind of come in on their own time when it's right for them, not when it's really right for you. You know, they may be biding their time or waiting for the opportune moment to come back in, so to speak. We have the sun. Yeah, I think you're starting to see the immaturity here. And we have the king of cups. This person's not emotion does not have emotional growth. This person seems to be emotionally number one doesn't seem to grow up emotionally you know maybe they're stuck in their childhood um patterns their childhood behavior you know you got the sun in here twice leo's coming through very very loud but this person seems to be they're very emotionally immature you got the king of cups coming through here twice too they could be you know, emotionally, be emotional manipulators as well. You know, sometimes they're hot, sometimes they're cold, sometimes they're, you know, they're on fire, other times they're just cold as ice. And I think, I, I think you're on to them, Leo. <laughs> I think you're kind of on to the game. You're, you're starting to see the game, the Five of Swords here. Question is, are you going to play it now? So where are you heading? We have the Five of Cups here. So I think this person does have some regrets and probably does want to do the right thing here. I don't think that they've let go, and I don't think that they think you've let go either. And they might be, you know, that might be one of the things that they... They manipulate. It's kind of like they bide their time until they're ready to come towards you. That may be part of the game. So what is a Five of Cups? Yep, we got Five of Swords again. We got Judgment coming back around. And we got the Ten of Pentacles. I think this person thinks of you as home. I think they have some regrets. But this seems to be a game that they're playing. Because we got Judgment coming in, right? This isn't the, this isn't the first go, with, go through with this person. You, this is something that you've been through before. And I think this person wants to reconciliate. I think there's a foundation built here. Um, I think that there's a lot of time that you two have spent together. There could be a marriage. There could be a commitment. 
I think this person might be playing on those aspects. But this person seems to have a lot of immaturity. You know, they need to grow up. Maybe they're coming asking for help. I don't know. You know, maybe they feel like you're the one that can, you kind of, not mentor them, but they can depend on you, so to speak. So let's see what the Six of Wands is. Wow, the Six of Wands is clarified by the Six of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Well, you definitely got a message coming through here. You may have spoken your piece about some things here. You may have already said what you wanted to say. You may have said it a number of different times. You may have been very clear on where you wanted this situation to go. Um, but there's definitely rec you, you're definitely recognizing some things here, and I, I, I think you're gonna you're gonna talk. I think you're gonna let this person know what you're seeing. I think you're going to speak your mind about this. So let's see what the moon is. You probably don't know where this is going to go, how it's going to end, what it's going to happen when you kind of like say what you need to say or start asking the questions that you need to ask. We have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Page of Cups, and we have the Devil coming in. Well, you know, for some of you, I think you're, you know, deep down inside, you're still kind of hoping that, you're still kind of hanging on to this relationship. You know, because you got the devil coming in here. There's some kind of attachment here. I think you're going to be very clear and direct with your words on what you want to say. I, I think you want some respect here in this situation. I think you feel a lack of respect. But the issue here is there could be some attachment issues because you got the devil showing up. And there could be some immaturity. But this person needs to mature emotionally. Because you can say all you want. You can speak your truth, speak your mind, speak this, speak that, speak that. And intellectually, someone might be able to figure that out. But emotionally, I don't know that they're on the same trajectory as you. Right? So let's see what the universe has for you in this situation. Because you've got the four of pentacles here and you got the four of pentacles here. You know, this person could be hanging on to financial stuff or they could be controlling financial stuff. Maybe you're having to, you know, maybe you're having to get, speak your truth a little bit here. Maybe this person has, you know, you have money tied up with this person or this situation. Um, <clears throat> Maybe this person's coming back for help because they need financial help and you're starting to see that very, very clearly. Maybe this person's dependent on you financially as well. Somebody could be holding that as a resource or as an emotional a way of, to emotionally manipulate somebody too. That could also be going on. So just be aware of that. You know, we're looking at motives here. What are the motives? And you're starting to see it very, very clearly. So what does the universe have for you, Leo? We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles.
we have the Hermit, and we have the Five of Wands. Well, I think what this is saying is be careful of the triggers here. You know, somebody could be using financial means or financial situation to, you know, devalue you or, you know, not give you the respect. That, you know, maybe they're just trying to get a rise out of you. Could just be trying to get a rise out of you or getting a reaction from you as well. Um... Because I think deep inside you're conflicted with what this person is really trying to do or what are the motives. I, I don't feel like you're getting the respect that you deserve. I don't feel like you're, um, this, you know, this person could be, I think that you have love here and this person may be emotionally not at the level that you're at. And so here's where the conflict is coming in. Because maybe this person can't love as deeply as you can. You can only meet somebody where they're at, right? Because there's some kind of commitment here. And somehow this commitment is equating to, well, then there must be love. But if a person's motives, not everybody has the same motives as you, as you do, Leo. You know, you may have love here, but it seems like there's a lack of respect. And it seems to be coming out maybe through the financial means or the financial exchanges between the two of you. Yeah, Eight of Wands. I don't think you're feeling respected. I don't think you're feeling valued. And I don't think that you're feeling like, um, I think you're speaking your mind. I think you're, you know, you want some sort of recognition here in this situation, some sort of respect to be seen and to be loved the way that you want to be, that you are loving and you are seeing this other person. But I think the bottom line here is, is about what's going on inside of you, deep inside of you, and where you're not valuing yourself. Because the outside is usually a reflection of what's going on on the inside. And some of you may take commitment or marriage quite deeply, but that doesn't mean that another person takes it the same as you. So that's what I have for you this week, Leo. I hope this helped. And until our next reading, grand rising. Bye-bye.